Brian. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's at TGIF, folks, and it's 10 days away from Christmas, man. Ho, ho, ho. Man, I'm telling you, wild. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you're learning to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 50, uh, down 52, NASDAQ up 35, S&P's down 9.5, gold, gold contract down $12.80, trading at 2032 an ounce. We got silver down 27 cents, 24 dollars 11 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude flat, 71 dollars 48 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note down one tick, 112. 15, the 30 year is up 16 ticks, trading out at 123. 30 in the 10 year, folks, is it staying under that? Well, it's 3.917. The bottom line, we're under 4 percent. And we're running, I suspect, uh, down to the 3.24%, which is going to be pretty wild. We just ran October 27th from 5.01 to 3.9. So October 27th, that's a month and a half for a full percentage point. Pretty wild, man. I'm not looking to go to the 2.9. I'm looking for 3.24. I think uh, it'll probably stall at that point. We'll see. Um, King dollar. King dollar's in a counter trend bounce out here today. 568 ticks. We're up trading 102,525. The euro is at 109. The yen's trading 142, and the British pound is at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the SPs? Let's take a look at them. What we're going to do out here, folks, is that we're going to get our heads wrapped around these weeklies, because all these weeklies are going to be ABC structures on the way up, which is just absolutely wild. Where did I put? There we go. Okay, I got my little phone right here, my calculator. That's all we need. Okay, so what do we have here? Okay, so let's put this on. So yeah, yeah. Right now we're at, excuse me, 468. The high out there that it's shooting for is the 479. We bang this out into the weekly. Yep, and they're all ABC structures up. Unreal. Okay, so what is that? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll just do this update, and I'm gonna have to do these at the at the. I just wish I could see that far ahead. <laughs> the screens are ahead of me, folks. And uh, anyway, it is what it is. Uh, bottom line is that higher prices are coming at us. That the spy. Uh, we're down a buck f 14 right now, but you can see you're blowing away the B point, you're blowing away with volume, and that's. Let me just get. No, I got to get this for you now. We've already done this. Just at ballpark at least. Was it 29? Man, that's a big ABC up. Going to the NDX 100. I'm going to have to do it at the break, folks, because I, I just I just can't get you the right number then. I can't see the right number. Uh, Q's, same type of setup. You take a look at the Q's, and you're going to see I mean, what a clean ABC. And remember something, that an ABC, an ABC up or down, there, A to B is a straight line move, B to C, you go sideways, drives people crazy, C to D is a straight line move. So this is going to be a straight line move. Um, you know, you can, you can take a look at these Q's. You can see on a weekly basis, we've already blown it away with volume. We don't even need any more volume. And, you know, this is option expiration, and, you know, the volume is going to come in heavy, and the amount of options that do expire are really up there today. It's uh, uh, the value. <laughs> this is where this gets really wild. I mean, the value is like $5.4 trillion that's going to expire at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you're talking about some heavy-duty buying and selling you know, and it's going to be smooth, though. It's it. The bottom line is it's amazing what this market can do, and that's because most of the 
option market makers are delta neutral. And what delta neutral specifically means is that they have as many puts as as many calls, and so they're just still working on the spread. And of course, they, you know, they hope that a lot of them basically just expire out of the money, and most of them will expire out of the money. By the way, okay, that's just how options work. So. Let's go to the IWM. I'm curious whether the IWM is going to be an ABC up to. So let's take a look at the IWM. Put this on a weekly. Okay, no, it's not yet because it hasn't. It, it's just going to the top. But it, now here, this is what's going on with the IWM, which is really cool, okay? The IWM is coming to the top of its range of a four. Is that... No, it's heavier than that. That's pretty cool. One, two. This is a this is a this is a two-year consolidation. So if we take that out, and we're coming at you can see that we're gonna take it out. Look at the, the amount of volume that we had this week. So this is coming to the top of the consolidation, has volume behind the move. Let's put this on a 10-year monthly. I see. Okay, that's gonna be easy to do. That's gonna bring it to the highs. So what you have here is this. The, 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 you know, technical analysis, folks, okay? This is just like a real classic, man. It really is. It's like, okay, so we came down. You can see, you know, I always talk about, you know, triple deckers, okay? Bottom line, you get just floors. That's, we grew up with triple deckers, so I'm kind of used to them. You know, you go up one floor, there's a level. You go up second floor, there's a level. Third floor, is a level. Well, you can see, when we came down, bottom line is that you just came down to this level where we broke out from. You know, stayed there for, you know, a year and a half, and now bottom line is ready to move again. And you can see that it's, it's moving with volume. So I expect you're going to get to higher prices out there. If we go to the uh, GDX, we start talking gold. This is a nice setup, man. What it is is that, you know, what we're always looking for is this. You're looking for strength, and then you pull back with light volume. Strength, you pull back with light volume. Higher price, wide price spread. Moving higher with conviction, and that's exactly what we have out here. Just check this out with the GDX. So with the GDX, okay, bottom line, you know, what we had done this week is that you got under the breakout area. You exploded topside out here on Wednesday, followed through on Thursday, and look at this. Only 14 million shares traded, and we we're going up with 36 and 41. That's a market that wants higher price. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.